Good morning, it's been a long time since I've filmed a video. Now, last weekend I was teaching at the Bunko Bash and I was teaching on a theme of rotational arm locks from a very much a pragmatic and kata based perspective. So I, I just wanted to share a little bit of what I taught last week. Of course, I'm not going to give away my whole session. You should have been there. But I'm going to show you the very first technique I did, which was the application to the first part of Pinan or Heian Godan. Now, the, the point that I made on this seminar is my uh, occupation means I work in emergency care. So I've got uh, certainly my own insight into how violence happens. And the experts will tell us that what will commonly happen is you will get a datum set, so the attacker will take a hold of you and then you will be hit. And my experience of interviewing victims of violence and indeed um, uh, in interviewing the perpetrators of violence, because you know, the police bring me in people to be treated, is I completely agree that is indeed how violence happens and that was where my applications worked for. The theme for my set was rotational arm locks, specifically outer rotational arm locks, and that's what I'm going to do here from, from Pinan or Heian Godan. So remember the footwork and the angles are all very much important. Now what's going to happen here is Sensei Will with his left hand, he's right handed, his left hand will take a hold so his right hand can hit. Okay, so that's what I'm dealing with. So the first thing I want to do is off angle to get away from this. I'm going to use my stance to give me a biomechanical advantage to drop my weight. The opening part of the kata, of course, what I would know as uchiyuki, is where you get uh, a receiving hand and then the complete so-called block the receiving hand. So what I'm going to do here is off angle, use my stance, which if I'm doing pinan is kata, I'm doing heian is back, and niko ashitachi versus kukutsudachi. And I'm going to use my receiving hand to bend the arm and then my blocking arm to force the arm lock. As so. Now, as you can see, what's happened here, this accounts for the hikite as well. And I'm well away from that punch. Now, where you get this notion of this um, stops and punching you, well, yeah, it does, because if you look at how I forced his body to rotate, I've stopped that from happening. So, again, angle, stance, bend the arm. Okay? Now, what this gives me is a nice opening where my rear hand can now hit him in the jaw, which is what the kata does, isn't it? Okay? The kata will then turn to 180 degrees, and that's because he might grab me with the other hand. But it does also mean that I can turn and use the alternative movement the other way as a throw. So I was walking through that. So I'm going to use my angles, change to 90 degrees in relation to my attacker. Receiving hand forces the bend, the so-called blocking arm makes this rotational arm lock. I then hit him in the jaw, because I can. Now this shift to 180 degrees means throw. If I was nasty, I could bring this round further and use a cat to next to that hand to my knee. I'm not really, with a lot of talking, sums up really quite a, a simple concept. What I would like to do is give you a little bit of an alternative look at it from a Taekwondo perspective. Yes, I know it's controversial. Yes, I deserve to be shot because I'm using that horrible T word, but yeah, a little bit of a taekwondo. The, the start of chung gun, we turn and we do this open hand, we then kick, and as your lead hand drops, your rear hand comes up as so. And what you're supposedly doing is blocking a fixed punch to the ribs here. Now, I don't work the doors, but I really do question the reality of a fight kicking off in that way, okay? <laughs> so I really have got a question of the validity of that, which I think anybody with any sense at all in martial arts has got to. But it does actually give us a really nice application. So it's the same thing, exactly the same thing. So I'm going to turn, I'm going to use, with karate it's closed fist, with the taekwondo it's an open hand, I'm going to use the same thing. Now this time the foot gives me a kick to either knee, which is really, really nice. Because that way, when I come up with this, there's my rotational arm lock. So it's a different pattern, but it's the same idea. I, I just think that's really, really nice, really helpful. Um, that, I think, sums it up. So it's a nice, simple application to pin on or hey and go. I hope that was of use, and thanks for watching. Thanks, Sensei.